Welcome to the recent cast on top-down approach to create manage APIs. I'm Chashika Vedatanka from WSO2 API Manager team. So uh, what is API-led integration? API-led integration is simply an integration strategy that enables business to connect different data, different application and other services via APIs. It helps to define integration scenarios while increasing the ability to reuse multiple services at different times for the different stakeholders. When we talk about the API led integration, there are two development approaches. The first one is API plus integration, the second one is integration plus integration. In API plus integration, we create the API plus and then later on we create the integration service. So in the integration first integration, first of all, we create the integration service and then later on we create the API. In this screencast, we are going to talk about the API plus integration. So this is the overall flow of the top-down API development, which is uh, API plus integration. So here, the first of all, uh, API creator create the API in WSO2 API manager in the first step. After that, in second step, integration developer uh, pull that API to the integration studio and create the integration service to the particular API. After that, in the third step, integration developer deploy the, the particular service to the service catalog. The fourth step, API creator again go to the endpoint section of the API and configure the service endpoint to the particular API. In fifth step, API publisher publish the API. And after that, API consumer can subscribe to the API and invoke it. So I will uh, explain further about it in the demonstration. So let's go to the demo. First of all, let's create an API in WSO2 API Manager. So I'm going to create an API from scratch. So let's name the API as country API. And add the context and version. So I will keep this as blank since I didn't uh, implement the backend yet. So I will implement it later from the integration history. So let's create the API. So I, I will add a new resource for this API called uh, get countries. And I will delete the other resources. And let's save it. Then I need to create the integration solution. So let's go to the integration studio. And I will create a new integration project. So then uh, let's create the new REST API. So I'm going with the fourth option, which is import API from API manager, because I need to implement the backend for the, the particular API. So here we need to add the uh, API manager credentials. So for this task, we have introduced a new role called integration table. So I have already created the new user by assigning that integration table role. So I will use those cred the credentials. If you want, you can use admin credentials as well. So let's click the list API button. So here it listed down to all the APIs which are in the WSO2 API manager. So I need to create the backend for the, the country API. So let's create the, let's select the country API and finish.
okay so uh we create the, all the artifacts so let's go to the so cement resources so here in the metadata folder you can see two files first one in metadata and second one is swagger file so first one includes all the basic details about the api so here we can edit the description if we want so this one is the uh, this one is the server which is running this service so my service is running on my local micro integrated server so let's add my uh, micro integrator users details so my host is local host and my port is 8290 Okay, so uh, let's implement uh, my integration solution. So I delete the existing mediators. So I first add the payload factory. So let's add some uh, response, mock response. So I will add some countries, country list. Okay, so now let's add response mediator to respond to the client. Okay, so now I'm done with my integration solution. Then I need to deploy it to the service catalog. So here I'm going to use the embedded micro integrator instance. So from this button, you can uh, open the deployment terminal of the embedded micro integrator instance so i need to uncomment the this uh, configuration so let's uncomment the service catalog configuration so here uh, this is my local api server so these are the credentials so let's save this okay now I have developed my integration solution. Now I need to deploy it to the service catalog. So let's deploy this. So let's export project artifacts and run. So I will click my artifacts and then finish. So here you can see the logs. Okay, you can see the log called successful update to service catalog, which means the our service is successfully deployed to the service catalog. So let's go to the API manager publisher again. Okay, let's go to the services. Here you can see our services here. So now we need to integrate this service to the our API. So let's go to the our API again. And let's go to the endpoint section. Here you can see there's a endpoint called service endpoint. So let's add the service endpoint. So here we could get production endpoint. So here in this list of from drop, drop down, you can see the our service country API service. So I'm going to add this service to the API. Then I'm going to save it. So then let's go to deployment and let's create a deployment. Okay, I deployed the revision. Okay, then let's go to lifecycle and publish it. 
okay likewise so uh, you can integrate any service to the this api so from using this drop down you can link any service to the particular api so they uh, integrate the the country api service because i create the integration solution using this api definition okay now we can go to the dev portal and we can invoke the api okay we can go to the application and can subscribe that api then we can we can invoke that api so uh, let's uh, get uh, SK first. Okay, so then let's invoke it. Okay, uh, you can see the response here. Uh, okay, so hope uh, you got some knowledge about uh, top-down approach to create manage API in API-led integration. So thank you.